In the movie Contagion, I played an epidemiologist trying to stop the spread of a hypothetical virus. To prepare for the role, I spent time with some of the best public health professionals in the world. And what was one of the most important things they taught me? Wash your hands like your life depends on it. Because right now, in particular, it just might. Or the life of someone you love, or even the life of someone you might not know, but is still deserving of your consideration. Like the people on the front lines of this fight right now, the doctors and the healthcare providers, the people who are still working in the grocery stores or delivering food to your homes, which is where you should be right now. Well, I'm here to talk to you about social distancing, something we've been hearing a lot about on TV, I think, the last couple of weeks. Um, in the movie, I played a guy who was immune to the uh, hypothetical virus that was spreading around the world. And so a few things to start. Uh, one, um, that was a movie, this is real life. I have no reason to believe that I'm immune to COVID-19 uh, and neither do you, uh, no matter how young you are. This is a new virus. It's gonna take some time for our bodies and our doctors to understand it and to understand the best way to protect us. Soap and water are all you need. Just get the temperature right. The water, doesn't need to be that hot. And most any soap will do. The way soap works is that one end of the soap molecule binds with the water and the other end binds to the grease on your hands. The virus is washed away with that grease when the soap molecule attaches to it. Yep, yep, a scientist taught me that. Why else would I know it? They also taught me to wash my hands for 20 seconds, which is roughly how long this segment has taken. Three, two, one. It means stay six feet away from another person. It means not gathering in groups, and it means staying home or sheltering in place if that's what government officials are telling you to do. People can have COVID-19 and have very mild symptoms or no symptoms at all. Uh, so even if you think that they're healthy or you think that you're healthy, don't take that chance. It is not worth it. Every time that you pass this virus to someone else, you are actually giving it to three or four other people as well. And then those people are going to do the same. So before long, that one person turns into hundreds, turns into thousands. And that's how we got into this situation in the first place. What we do know is that the virus travels through human contact. That's one of the ways it travels. It needs us to survive. So let's not give it any help. Quite simply, one of the best ways to prevent yourself from getting COVID-19 is by behaving like you already have it, which means social distancing. Stay at home if it's at all possible for you. Wash your hands often like it's your job. Listen to your public health officials, wherever it is that you happen to live. A pandemic means that the virus is everywhere, but it won't be every place at the same time. So if it's not where you live today, you can bet that that's going to change. And if you don't know anyone who's sick yet, you can also bet that that will change as well. If you're anything like me, your first question is, how long will a vaccine take? Scientists say anywhere from 16 to 18 months, and scientists and doctors are the people we need to be listening to right now. They are the experts. And that means tuning out the voices with other agendas, no matter how powerful they might be. Depending on the surface, COVID-19 can live there from a few hours to a few days. So wipe down surfaces that are frequently used with a disinfectant. And here are the rules for that. Spray, wait four minutes, and then wipe. Yes, it takes four minutes for a disinfectant to do its job. And avoid touching your face. It's not easy, but it's an important one. Because if you touch a surface with your hands and then you touch your face, you can get infected. So to put it bluntly, the health of our society is quite literally in your hands. You can actually sit on the couch or in a chair like I'm doing and watch TV and save a life at the same time. You can work from home, you can use social media to communicate, you can save a few more. 
Uh, now is the time to spend all the time you want staring at your phone or your tablet. And if anybody gives you a hard time about it, tell them not to bother you because you are saving lives. Just make sure that you tell them that from six feet away. I know this is hard and this is new and it's scary, but you really can defend yourself and the people you love with a bar of soap, a sink, some water, and by listening to the public health experts where you live. We all want a cure, but until we have one, we need to be that for each other, starting now. Please do your part. Other generations have been asked to do extraordinary things. We're being asked to just stay at home. We got this. Please let's respect and protect our elders. Thanks, everybody.